Well, a security feature at the heart of most Wi-Fi enabled devices from smartphones to computers is now putting nearly all of them at risk. A bug known as crack exposed a fundamental flaw in the technology that secures wireless networks with a password. With crack, a hacker can access a secure Wi-Fi network and collect data from the traffic stream. They can grab information from nearly any modern wireless device. Here to explain is CNET's executive editor, Roger Chang. Good to see you. Good to be here. So we hear about these cyber attacks all day long. Three billion accounts hacked on Yahoo or the 145 million Americans that We're were getting compromised. Fatigue. Yeah, fatigue. But because it's almost like a fact of life. Right. Like you're going to be hacked. You have all these devices. We're connected to everything. And it's just easy for people with nefarious intentions to gain access to your information. Um, how serious is this flaw? This is pretty serious. Uh, one positive, the b bad news is Pretty much every Wi-Fi enabled device is vulnerable. Uh, the good news here is that it has to be local. Hacker has to be near that Wi-Fi network for it to work. So you, it can't launch a widespread attack remotely, right? It has to actually physically be there. So the chances of you getting hit are a little bit slimmer, but uh, you should assume, and most of the experts have agreed, you should assume that all of your devices are vulnerable at this point. So then what's at risk? Like what sort of information would they have access to? So it depends on what you're doing, but potentially it, they, can, they can look at what you're browsing on the internet. Uh, they can look at your log information, credit card information. They can actually insert information into your own browser. So they can spoof a website of Google or Gmail, a fake version of Gmail that you enter your login information, and they record all the information there. So uh, potentially very devastating if they get into your network. Yeah. So two things. Uh, one, are you talking about, for example, if you are sitting in a cafe or in a bar and you log on to that establishment's Wi-Fi, that's a more vulnerable entry point than perhaps the Wi-Fi that we use here at CBS or that you use at CNET? So... Uh, Actually, those public Wi-Fi networks were already vulnerable. There, there's, there's no encryption used. If you go to a Starbucks, right. you're already kind of, you're asking to be attacked. <laughs> what this attack is, this is way worse, is even if you're at a network like CNET or here at CBSN, the protocols you guys use are all vulnerable because everyone uses, essentially everyone uses the WPA2 security encryption for Wi-Fi, and that's what's vulnerable. Mm. So here's my, the second part of my question is you mentioned that Hackers could see your credit card information. They could see other vital information. But even on my own device, I can't. I can't see my right. uh, credit card numbers in my Apple Wallet, for they example. They can see our passwords. Well, basically, if if they're able to send a fake version of the site, you insert your information when you're logging into your Gmail okay. or Amazon. If you're, for instance, if you will have to insert your credit card information. Some of that's saved on your Amazon account, but for other sites where you have to insert that information, they can record all of it. Wow. Okay, so, so is anything being done to solve this? Uh, right now, uh, oddly enough, even though WPA2 is uh, has a vulnerability, everyone says to actually stick with it. It is actually still the most secure protocol. A lot of patches are being put out now. Microsoft has already fixed it for a lot of its Windows devices. Mm -hmm. So the advice most people are getting Update your devices as frequently as possible. Find software updates, patches, uh, Apple, Samsung. Most of the major companies, if they haven't already issued a patch, are doing so in the next few weeks. So just be on the lookout for these updates. And this is, to be clear, this is Wi-Fi, not if you're using, for example, your network, like you're browsing the Internet using your network. Um, capabilities. It would be your Wi-Fi the, the, network. No, no, though, I don't mean the Wi-Fi. I mean the um, oh, cellular the, network. Cellular right. network. Yes, right. if you're on your phone right now, the best bet is stay on your network. Stay on Verizon or AT&T or whatever service you have. Don't go on Wi-Fi, especially don't go on public Wi-Fi. In general, you shouldn't be on public Wi-Fi anyway. <laughs> Uh, can you say that one more time? <laughs> just stay away from public <laughs> Wi-Fi, please. Thank you. Uh, you, uh, they should just call public Wi-Fi Skynet. I'm convinced that Skynet <laughs> is taking over. Ay, ay, ay. CNET Executive Editor Roger Chang, as always, thank you, my friend.